All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean a tub that is extremely dirty and hard to get all the dirt and the black off the bottom. This tub right here, as, as well as other ones, are acrylic. Um, this one's acrylic, and other ones like it uh, that have this textured bottom tend to, after about a year or two, really build up this black gunk at the bottom, and it sticks to it, and it just looks terrible. This tub right here is pretty clean, so you're looking at it and you're like wondering, like, why, is, why am I doing this here? Well, this is just an example. Um, if you have a tub that's extremely like black at the bottom and you've been scrubbed and you can't get it off, do this method and you'll look brand new. Um, we did this to about 40 different tubs in a matter of about a week, um, and then next year we'll probably do another one or 200 of these tubs for an, uh, for an apartment complex. So we've got some experience doing this and uh, the method that I have works absolutely, absolutely great. And I'll show you what it is right now. So the method involves power tools. So of course, if you, you can um, do this by hand, if you have just one tub, you can go ahead and give this thing a shot. Uh, you can use the, the method I'm gonna show you and just do one. However, if you wanna save yourself a uh, considerable amount of time and put in almost zero effort, then I suggest my method. And that method, again, is um, have it, get a drill. The best drill is a corded drill because if you use a uh, cordless drill, you'll run out the battery in, in probably 20 minutes max, you know. Um, and then you're going to use this brush. Uh, this is called the Revolver. I got this thing on Amazon. Um, I think it's about $30, $40 or you can go on their website right here. Uh, I'll try to link it, revolverdrillbrush.com. They also have a few other models, I think some shorter ones, harder bristles, soft bristles. Um, again, I'm not really sure which one, which one this is. It's called the Revolver and it works amazing. It doesn't work just for tubs. You can use it on, um, on the grout as well. And you can just angle it into the grout. So if you have some nasty grout, use this exact same method I'm gonna show you. Um, in the grout with this brush and you'll be you'll be going in no time What we're gonna use is we're gonna use barkeepers friend. You can find barkeepers friend absolutely anywhere Walmart Home Depot Lowe's uh, Really anywhere um, Since it is an acid it'll mess up your skin and everything else uh, Right there caution con contains oxalic oxet whatever some kind of acid um, Either way don't let it touch you don't let it inhale it don't get it in your eyes none of that stuff um, after one day, I thought it was going to, you know, I thought it was not a big deal. Um, after using this one day, my fingers completely dried out, cracked, and were very painful for about a week after just using this. So if you're going to be using this for multiple days, definitely, definitely, definitely get some gloves. So let me show you what we're going to do. Um, actually, before I get that on there, what pretty much we're going to do is we're going to put this all over the bottom of the tub, and then we're going to, uh, drill out the bottom of the tub. And so since this is a, um, a powder, you can't just put the powder on the bottom and then start drilling or it's gonna kick the powder all over the place. You're gonna breathe it in, get in your eyes. You're gonna have a bad day. So what you wanna do is you wanna turn it into a paste and then let that paste kind of coat the bottom of the tub and then we'll drill out that paste. That paste will attach the dirt. We'll get the dirt right out. So the best way to do this is to get it wet. So what I like to do, go ahead, turn on your shower and get the whole bottom wet just a nice one time quickly um no need to you know no, no need to rinse anything out nothing like that get the bottom wet now take your barkeeper's friend and sprinkle it all over the place kind of gets um kind of gets stuck to the bottom of this can once in a while there we go um sprinkle it all around now you notice it's kind of now it's kind of wet won't kick up as much However, what you need to do next is take a drill, you know, press it down a little bit, get the slow speed. Don't go, don't, you know, don't go crazy. Don't go fast right away. Slow speed and mix it in. So just mix in your powder with the water that we just put on there and get a paste. And you can see it's all bubbled up and ready to go. And now we're just gonna kick it into high gear and clean the tub. And now one thing you might have mentioned, you might have saw there how this thing is out of control. Well, this thing is, these bristles are so long, this thing is really hard to control. So what I found to be the best is use two hands and go with it. And 
of course I didn't even take my own advice, putting on some gloves. So let me go ahead and uh, put these gloves right back on. And again, and let's go back down. And so as you can see, it's all mixed in there. It's all good. You might have to do this two times. Um, so go ahead and run your tub again. Run your shower one more time. Rinse everything off. Um, you probably can't see the camera, but now it looks absolutely spotless. And if you see any problem areas, just put a little, repeat the method just on those little problem areas and your tub will look absolutely brand new. So that's the method. Barkeeper's friend, the revolver, corded drill, you're good to go. Thanks for watching.